Hey everyone, we're back with sales for Wednesday from our business. Today's been a slow day, guys. One of those days that um, we're just hoping and praying some stuff comes through and it's been slow. We've had a couple more this evening, so that makes it a little bit better. But um, definitely not getting our goal today. That happens. We're going to go over it what's sold and hopefully tomorrow we'll bring more to show you guys in the next clip or maybe some will come through at the end of the night here. This is Linda. She is my beautiful wife, as you know. We're going to go over what's sold. What were the numbers today? Five sales on one platform low, low, low. for 150 To be fair, we did sell something locally for $100 oh, that I paid. Six sales on yeah. two platforms for mm -hmm. 250 I paid $11 for these little Halloween stat, like 24-inch figures or whatever, and I sold 11 of them for 100 bucks, so it made 89 So that was cool. Something local, but online didn't sell. Let's get into it, though. The first item sold late, early in the morning, actually. This is a 92 Isuzu Trooper Supplement Manual. Very small. Uh, it's from a, the old manual buy and it sold for $25 shipped. Happy to make that kind of money on the old manuals that are left. Then we got a CD from the Rock and Roll buy. This is the Church, the Blurred Crusade, and it sold for $30 shipped. That's a good one. That was one, I just, one of the ones I just listed from the last box of Rock and Roll stuff. Here's a cool one too. This is a sealed Dur brand anti-skip CD player with the headphones. Yep. And Not it, the greatest brand, but it is brand new sealed. And it sold for $35 shipped. Happy to see it go. Guys, we're almost done. Look how quick this is. Just nice and fast. Then we got a Bissell Power Force um, canister. So it's just a replacement canister. Good to go. Sold for $28 shipped. It came from like a vacuum. I got two vacuums for five bucks combined. So we're only in this for maybe two fifty. And I think I sold another part already from it. So anyways, sold three little baby perfumes, little samples. These are by Chanel. This is Antius Por Home Men You the Toilette. So one's like 75. They're sample perfumes. Yeah, 75% full, 16, maybe 40, something like that. But three of them, same ones. Sold for $25 shipped. 25 bucks. I spent 10 bucks on the two boxes of perfume. We've already sold a bunch. So there's plenty more to sell. And I got one that's got a bid right now for 25 bucks. So again, making money in the old perfume. We've done well on it. Hopefully something else will come through. If not, you'll see us real quick in a second here with what sells on Thursday. All right. Oh, we didn't do it on time. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back with the sales for Thursday. Today was a much better day than yesterday. Linda's mimicking me with my little hand making fun of me, but um, we sold much more today on both two different platforms, so we're definitely happy with that. <laughs> How many platforms? Dose. If you're a guy and you hold up number three, how do you hold up a three? TikTok, TikTok. says guys don't do this. They do this. They do this or they do this. I guess, I don't, I don't know why, but. Maybe it was a guy like. Right. Anyways, a bunch <laughs> of TikTok people trying to tell the world how they should be. <laughs> how do we do today? So today we had 11 sales across two platforms. Dos platformes. And? And we sold. Did I just say 11? 11 sales across two platforms for just over $430 ship. Okay, first item. First item we have is this uh, Smithfield hat. Uh, new with tags, bought a this long is, time ago. This is distressed. Linda didn't know. Yeah, I it. didn't. I thought it, I was like, oh crap, it got That's messed up. That's the style. Um, <laughs> but it sold for $22 plus shipping on Poshmark. It's been up for three years, probably. Bought it at Not thrift, on Poshmark. <laughs> no. <laughs> thrift store, I bought it for four bucks because it was a brand new one and sold for 30 on eBay. I'm like, great. There was one other one listed. Mine will sell right away. It did not. It sat for years on eBay. We listed it on Poshmark. It's only been on Posh for a couple months, and it sold full price plus the shipping. So pretty much made the 30 bucks I thought I would get 30 years ago, or 30 years ago, three years ago. <laughs> 30 years! <laughs> three years ago, Woo! and um, it paid off. So slow That's investment. only from 2014. That'd be impossible. 30 years. It's older than I am. No, it's not. I'm 32. Yeah, it still wouldn't be. Sorry, honey. Anyway. It's older than me. You're getting up there, though. Oh, <laughs> okay, now we'll go over eBay. On eBay, our first sale is a pair of Nikes. Nikes. Um, these Nikki are. Nikki may wear these, though. I don't know. No, she would. Um, so these are the Zoom Gravity athletic shoes. They are black with metallic gold on them. Yep. Um, Cameron got them for eight bucks because the thrift store don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they didn't realize these were Nikes. The thrift store always puts Nikes like twenty, twenty-five bucks. And I'm like, those are Nikes. Those look weird. But we took they a best offer of... It has like this horn on the back. Yeah, it's kind of different, but... <laughs> but they, we took a best offer of $35. Shoot. Normally, I would have probably tried to get more like 40 for them. Maybe a little bit more if I could. But sales were slow yesterday, so I took that offer and they finally paid today. So, it worked out, though. 
Next Sometimes up. just bringing in money is good. You know, you don't have to make top dollar every time. We have a Technicolor Cisco modem, and it sold for thirty-one and a half shipped. That was like two bucks, brand new seal. Then we have this big bulky Panasonic VCR. This one uh, sold for forty-two and a half shipped. It is going global shipping program and no remote. Probably gonna cost sixteen to eighteen bucks to ship it or whatever. Um, it was like a, I think five bucks at a garage sale. It works. Comes with the AV cable. Does not have the remote. This was before I started buying remotes for almost all my units. I don't usually sell them without remotes anymore because when I buy the remotes, they sell faster and usually for more money. So. Then we've got a vintage Sesame Street numbers for PC. You can see the little game right there. Awesome. Oh. Right. Linda played this. She's... No, I didn't. Nothing and nice it thing. sold for ten dollars and some change. That was in, I think it was in a um, CD buy, and it was just sitting in there as a hmm. PC game. Next up, we have this sweater from a long time ago. Another one of our oldest things. This is a Fox brand sweater. Um, from JC Penney. From JC Penney. It looks like one of those ones I you buy because you can't Penny. get the the alligator logo, so you get the green fox. Lacoste. So yeah. I, got, I can't afford Lacoste. I got. The, the green box. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Um, and it sold for $24 shipped. That's an old one, guys. Just like that hat. It's been up there a minute. Happy to see it go. We love when the old stuff moves out. It's always cool. Next up, we have a Casio Digital Diary. Um, and it sold for 13 and a half shipped. This was 50 cents. But easy. In a little bubble mark, a little bubble wrap, and it's on its way. The Franklin spelling and grammar ones are the ones that sell the best of these little ones. But this is a little diary, and it sold too. Next up, this is out a cool of one. the rock and roll buy, I believe this is out of the forgotten box. Yeah, um, the forgotten rock and roll box, which has been paying off a lot lately. We yeah, sold yes. a, we sold an autograph CD for like fifty something. Yeah. We sold another CD yesterday or something from there, or a book or something, and then we yeah. sold this. This is Badfinger Head First. Um, it does have two discs in there, and it sold for fifty dollars shipped. That's why the rock and roll buy was so good because there were a lot of rare CDs in there. We made a lot of money. Still making money. Yeah. Next up, we have a Cuisinart base. This is the DLC 10C. Um, it's an older one, though, because obviously it's just got the one button that you push. <laughs> but these ones always sell. That These older bases will always sell. Just make People sure like them. you have to test it. You need to have the, uh, the bucket or the bucket, the bowl and everything hooked on to test it out because a lot of them have sensors to see if everything's hooked up. If it is, it'll work. This one sold for? Uh, 45 shipped. Probably going to cost pushing $20 to ship it, depending on where it's going. It could be a lot cheaper if it's going somewhere close. But with those, we're usually paying 5 10 15 bucks, 20 bucks, and we're making all of our money and profit on all the other accessories. This is just to squeeze a few extra bucks out of it. Yeah, it's all gravy at this point. Next up, uh, $700 manual buy. Making an appearance. We have a 2000-2006 Honda Insight manual. It's funny because we have like six or seven 2000-2005s. This one. is the only one to 2006. And it sold for $100 shipped. 100 bucks though. That's why it sold because it's harder to find. Then we have this adorable Cuisinart. Little baby Cuisinart. This is the CH4 DC 4 cup. And it sold for 32 shipped. This hey, one. random fact. Did you guys know that on the bottom it actually is a wire holder? Not on all of them, but on this one. Yeah. Some of them, most the one I did last time, the base. Yeah. Fire holder on the bottom. Some of them. I don't think so this one. So you guys is, don't have to put it in a, you no, know, a... into a rubber band. Look, it actually holds itself, guys. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? I think this was like four, three or four bucks, and we got thirty-two shipping. Probably fourteen or so, depending on whether it's going to go FedEx or UPS. Yeah. So we'll make some money there, not a ton, but. I thought this one might do better as a whole unit, but I probably still could have made more parting it out. But anyways, it's sold. Is that it? Yep. That's all we got. We got to get this packed up and out of here. Linda will be back maybe if anything else sells. And we'll both be back in the next video if it sells this weekend. Hopefully lots of stuff. Oh, it's starting the weekend. It is crazy how time flies. All right. Bye-bye.